Hello guys and welcome back. Hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we are going to create a simple scroll UI. Now we all know that scroll UI is used in games like in shop menu, in level menu and in many more stuff. So we are going to try to create something similar in this tutorial. So without any further delay, let's get started. Now we have the scroll content right let's drag our scroll element here so this is our scroll rect and let's activate the image again now so i'll just duplicate in and create so as you can see right now they are at the same place so select the scroll content click on this add component and click on horizontal or vertical layout group because we want it to be vertical and you can see all of them are vertical now but one thing right you can see they are anchored to the upper left and they don't have any spacing between them so you can just set the anchoring uh, wherever you want so i will like to set it to upper center uh, i will set the spacing to let's say 10 and then i will set the top to be 10 and bottom to be 10 so as you can see uh, right now uh, they are visible like this uh, beyond this uh, panel so if i click on play let's see if we can scroll so we can't scroll as well uh, scrolling in wrong way let's select our scroll holder and let's deactivate horizontal and activate vertical and let's now yeah now we are going up but we are still getting back now the reason is because our scroll content you can see our scroll content is very small and it is not uh, the same size as our these buttons so i will just stop it select our scroll holder and we need it to be vertical not horizontal now in scroll content uh, click on add component and uh, insert select content size fitter a content size fitter will make sure that uh, this object will adjust its height or width according to the uh, total size or, or like total height or width of the child element so if i select vertical fit minimum size you can see uh, it changed its height like this so its height changed to the combined height of this all the elements we have in the uh, this scroll content but still we have one issue uh, our elements are visible beyond this panel which we don't want so select our scroll holder because our scroll holder has a image so we can add a mask to it so search mask and add it as you can see now all the scroll elements beyond this mask are not visible and we also don't need this uh, white image because it doesn't look good if i let's say try to reduce the alpha you can see here uh, we just lose our con uh, this uh, all the elements if i set it to zero so what we can do is in our mask we have this option show mask graph uh, we can just untick it and it will just go and now let's try again okay so as you can see here guys now we are able to scroll so this is the horizontal scroll uh, let's try some vertical scroll as well or i can just set uh, sling the scroll holder and i can just drag it up like this okay and i will call this scroll vertical holder and then I will right click and duplicate it I will bring it down so right now guys these are not anchored but make sure you anchor all of them uh, when you are making a game because it is very important and we will call this scroll horizontal okay now instead of vertical we will set it to horizontal then our this element I will just delete all of them 
and I will select this I will just drag it out for time being and uh, we have to change their weight so let's change the height to 100 width to 100 or maybe height to 125 let's drag it down icon at the top coin text at the middle and buy button at the bottom okay or let's make it uh, 150 and 200 okay is it better now maybe 140 uh, 180 yeah okay so so right now let's increase this width so let it be 60 60 and text will be also 60 60 is too much i think Or maybe we can just set the uh, image type to okay, let it be sliced only. Let's go to our wireframe mode and I will just uh, deactivate this thing. Yeah, I will just select our scroll element, I will call this scroll horizontal element select the image set the anchoring to somewhere here select the coin text and anchor it as well and the buy button let's go back to our shaded mode ok so it is looking something nice so what I will do is I will just uh, drag this and I will create a new prefab of it and yeah we want the original prefab so let's drag back to scroll content here activate our scroll horizontal sorry vertical holder and uh, this will be our instead of vertical layer I will just remove it and I will add horizontal layout and instead of vertical fit minimum we don't want that we want our horizontal fit to be minimum size okay so as you can see here it is getting anchored at the middle we don't want that so right now uh, this is anchored at middle if i duplicate it you can see it is going like this now to solve this uh, problem what we can do is select the scroll content and as it is going to be horizontal so here what we have done anchoring is wrong so select this option hold shift and alt and select uh, this option here and now we get a proper anchoring so we will just set the uh, spacing so let the spacing to be 10 from left to be 10 from the right to be 10 ok so now let's see our scroll holder if it is correct yeah if I click on play so this one is scrolling in vertical way which is right this is scrolling in horizontal way which is correct so as you can see here guys uh, this is how you can implement a simple scroll UI in your game so we can have multiple scroll UIs like this so this is it for this tutorial guys I hope you have enjoyed and learned something new so I will see you in the next video so till then goodbye and take care and keep coding.